Hi guys, is everything okay? In this video, we're going to continue the last video and we're going to show you an example of a bibliometric analysis in Viewer, specifically the co-authorship analysis. So, let's go! So, before going to Viewer, we're going to analyze the authors of these three papers. So in the first paper, we have all these authors. We have the first one, which is me, Carvalho. We also have Sukulski, Silva, Carvalho, Moura, Francisco, and Vega. In the second paper, we have Resende, Volsky, Betin, Carvalho, which is me again, Barros and Sanger. And in the last one, me again, Cruz, Carvalho, Duclos, and Stankovitz. So we see that some of these authors repeated, and I'm going to highlight it. I appear in three papers, and Professor Ilio Carvalho in two of these papers. So we're going to show how the co-authorship analysis work in Vosviewer. I'm going to open Vosviewer now. I'm going to create the analysis. So create a map based on bibliographic data. We already downloaded the data from Web of Science. Read data from, from bibliographic database files such as Web of Science. This is our file type. So I sel already selected those. I downloaded them in the desktop. And we can just select the three, the three papers and go on our analysis. And here we can select all the analysis in Vosuer. The first one that we're going to do is the co-authorship analysis considering the authors. So just I'm going to press next. The minimal number of documents of an author is one. No, we're not going to put a minimal number of citations and of the 15 authors, 15 be the threshold. So it's going to be, it's going to, to show the 15 authors. Here we have an overview before the, the graphic. So as we saw earlier, I show I am a co-author in the three of documents, Professor Ilio Carvalho too, and all the others in they are a co-author in just one paper. And we're going to finish our analysis. And here we see the co-authorship graphic or bibliometric analysis in Bosbury and we I wanted to show you the comparison with the PowerPoint which we have showed that all these authors they are co-authors in this paper so we have this set in green uh, which comprises Resende, Volsky, Petin, Carvalho, Paros, and Sanger. So in those viewer, it is exactly this these authors here, which are also in green. Yeah, I made it on purpose to make visualization better. And the same is true for the other groups. We have this group here in red, which is also this authors here in the first paper Sokolsky, Silva, Mora, uh, Francisco, Vega and in those viewer is exactly this group Francisco, Mora, Sokolsky, Silva and finally the last group of authors we have them here in blue 
which include Cruz, the Gloss, Stankovic, and Carvalho and Carvalho. That are exactly here, Cruz. And we see the relations. The Cruz is related to all other authors in blue. And here we see the comparison. As I am co-author of all other these authors, I am connected to all of them. And that is what a co-authorship analysis is in Bosworth. So I hope it helped you understand what is the co-authorship analysis in Bosworth. See you in the next video.